hey guys welcome back to ask hr with etonam your channel for authentic hr content i've had a couple of you asking to address some questions and one of them that i've really come through is their question what is your salary expectation or how do you deal with you know answering the whole or dealing with the whole money situation in an interview room so in today's video we're going to spend some time to find out how to go about answering that question what your salary expectation is so just like most interview questions this can really be a tricky one and depending on the face of the interview where this question was asked it may be asked because they want to eliminate some people or because they want to accommodate you so if this question comes very early on in the interview process let's say your very first interview was a brief one and then they want to find out what's your salary expectation it is very early on you do not have um, a clear appreciation of what the role will be demanding and yet this question came through so depending on the answer you give you may be eliminated or you may be able to move on to your next stage usually if this um, question is asked at your final interview then uh, the employer is probably considering accommodating you so let's just take a look at why an interviewer will ask you what your salary expectations are there are a number of reasons um, an interviewer would ask you this question. So one of the primary reasons an employer would ask you this question or an interviewer will ask you this question is they want to know what you're anticipating and whether what you will be asking sits within their budgets allocated for that role because most organizations have a budget for whatever role it is you're interviewing for they also would want to find out whether you have negotiation skills because that's where that skill comes to the fore so that you'll be able to have a meaningful conversation about how much you think you should be paid another reason they would ask you is they want to know if you are aware of your worth or the contribution you're bringing to the table have you done your research to know what the market rate is so these are some of the reasons an employer or an interviewer would ask you what your salary expectation is so i'm going to share with you a few tips on how i think you should go about answering this question and you know having interviewed a lot of people I've heard so many answers to this question or this question or so many reactions to this question. People get nervous. Some just shut down. Others will say, oh, I already know you have a structure and all that. And trust me that can be very exhausting because by the time an interviewer is asking you what your salary expectation is they're actually looking for you to give them you know concrete information so in your next interview when you're asked this question make sure that you are prepared to answer a tip number one make sure you've done your research and there are so many resources out there one of the most reliable ones that I can give in this video is um, Glassdoor. So on Glassdoor, you can put in the role you're interviewing for, your years of experience, and then your education, and even your region, wherever you're applying from. If it's in Africa or in Ghana, Glassdoor is able to give you a range of what people with your experience, your education, are earning in a similar role so you come there armed with this information so when you're able to do your research properly you are not selling yourself short 
which is an indicator that you don't know what your worth really is or you are not overpricing which puts interviewers off or tells them that um, you haven't done your research so tip number one always research the role the industry the region and then also um, the market rate that applies to that particular role tip number two always give out a range rather than a fixed or set amount and all, also make sure that this range is set tight rather than really wide so maybe you can say 75,000 to 100,000 a year now the reason it's important to give the range is um, it tells the interviewer you're open to negotiation so it's not just this is what I want and it's cast in stone so you've given a range so that in that range there will be room for negotiations so in salary negotiations um, there may be room for other compensation benefits like paid leave health care etc so always be open to other compensation benefits that the interviewer and the employer will put on the table while these compensation benefits may not be seen on your actual paycheck they all help in providing work-life balance and just great work environment i'm asking that you will be more open to other compensation benefits because whilst they may not um, appear on your actual paycheck they add up over time and equate to either additional income, attractive work environments, and general work-life balance. Tip number four, avert the question if it comes in very early um, in your interview. Because you remember I mentioned earlier that when this question comes too early in your interview, even before you are acquainted with the role, is a tactic to eliminate the number of people they they have to engage so in this case you have read the question let them know that you are more interested in understanding the scope of work that's required in the role after which you'll be able to give out um, useful information about what your salary expectation would be so don't be forced to answer that question very early on in your interview most interviewers will be impressed to know that, oh, he or she is more interested in the role and what our expectations of him is rather than, you know, how much he or she wants to um, be paid. Let me share with you some examples of how to answer um, the question, what your salary expectation is. So you can see this. Whilst I'd like to understand the scope of work and better get acquainted with the requirements of the job, which is what I'm hoping to achieve in this interview, I've also done my research and I've seen that people in this role or similar to this role are earning between 60000 and 70000 Given my expertise and skills, I'd like to receive salary within that range. So that's one way of uh, answering that question excellently let me give you another example of how you can answer this question the second way you can answer this question is this I'm open to discussion about my salary however given my salary in my previous role as well as my research in my industry and my expertise I think a salary range between 60,000 and 70,000 is fair that's also another straight to the point way of nailing that question. Another way you can answer the question is this. My salary expectation is between 60,000 and 70,000 CDs. I think this is fair given my knowledge of the industry, my experience and my skill. However, I'm open to negotiation together with other benefits that will be provided by the organization. That's also an excellent way of answering this question now you would notice that in all these three examples that i shared with you anytime i mentioned this is what i'm expecting i always added because of my knowledge of the industry 
my experience or my skill is is one of the ways to demonstrate why you're asking what you're asking in view of that i'd like to share with you three things you should avoid by all means so the first is just quoting a flat out fixed amount always avoid that always make sure you're given a range and when you do you always support it with why so you talk about your skills your experience your knowledge of the industry number two do not mention salaries that are above the market rate okay most organizations understand what the market rate is and some have different compensation philosophies some go with leading the market some are using lagging philosophies and some just sit at the market rate okay so depending on how you exhibit what you're bringing to the table forcefully they may be forced to make adjustments and rise above the market rate but you don't go in there um, giving figures that are above the market rate it it puts interviewers off and then it may also take you out of the race and it shows that you probably didn't do your research so always try not to give out figures that are above the market rate and the last thing is you don't want to go into the interview room unprepared you know about answering the question what's your salary expectation i mean it's going to come up anyway so you will do excellently if you do your research and just get comfortable so that anytime the question comes up what's your salary expectation whether at the beginning or in the final stages of your interview you're comfortable to give them the information you want to give them as far as your salary is concerned thank you so much guys i hope i touched on most of the things you yeah. think about when this question crosses your mind and you're going to nail it the next time it comes up in any conversation at all thank you so much for watching today's video i want to know what you think about it so i want you to comment like share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet also don't forget to click the notification bell so that you will be notified of my next videos